welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Last time, we finished off Ridley, started talking about the possible plans to show off the most difficult ending, and arrived here in Kraid. Now, there's, there's a mini boss over there, we could decimate it, or we could skip it. I'm skipping it, because it's absolutely not necessary. Because I got enough items to technically finish the game, but I want to demonstrate a little of what, how some of these areas are like. With um, some of these certain sequence breaks in mind. And also collecting all the major items. Specifically right now, I would really like long beam. And high jump. Because I just don't... It feels really weird to not have high jump because of just the jumping mechanics. But, uh, I mentioned last time hard mode skipping all the items. I would skip the energy tank because I do have enough. It just makes things a little bit easier in the run through here. But, uh, yeah, long beam. Yay. Now I just need to get high jump. It's a thing. Oh, I missed a missile? Okay. Um, thing. I do have a save that I need to look at for that. Just to remember what all items it was. That I can be a little bit flexible on. Power Grip might be one of them. But I know that Space Jump isn't. And I'm also... Also unsure if it bombs are in that or not. Right, right. Kraid. So, uh, a lot of the preparation here was for Kraid. And I probably should have done a safety save. But I feel confident enough that I don't need it. So, uh... One, two, three. There you go. That's how easy crate can be. Yeah, crate is kind of the butt of a many uh, joke when it comes to uh, Mother Brain's generals. Speaking of Mother Brain, yeah. Oh, cripes. Yeah. Um, just realized something. Um, oops. I'm going to cut back... Um, when I'm in, when I get, oh wait, I should probably show this escape, how to get out of here. Right, I should probably also remember how to do it. Because there are some seeds where you uh, don't have space jump into crate first. I just happened to get one where doing really first was a better option. Eh, oh well. Cause I really should have, I really should have thought ahead with the thing. Cause there's the secret passage here, but yeah, yeah. Um, around, around where this spits you out, that's where I'll cut. I should also demonstrate this room without missiles. show off that area real quick just to film that for whatever reason. Yep. That's the shortcut. And we just need one power bomb to, see, to skip a whole bunch. 
the entire area because it's not necessary. But there's one thing I do want to get before before I get there. Just bomb that out. Not bomb. Whatever that missiles. Let me just. I'm so used to high jump and. All right. Let me just skip through this. Okay. There's one more item that I do want to get. Just another super missile expansion. You remember it from the original. You probably played the original. I'm assuming you do, because that's one of the recommended prerequisites. For thing for this. Just so someone knows where all the items are. Because there's nothing worse than um, than trying all the locations, then not knowing what, where one of the locations are. I mean, that's probably true for all random items. Right. Probably true for a general rule of thumb for most random items. Because I've, there's some, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a situation where someone's first played through, through a game was through randomizer. I just can't think of any. But man, this area is laggy. At least on... Maybe it's just settings. But I do want the super missile here. Because that's one of the items that's going to be a little bit more challenging. Right. If I do a stream like that. It's just skipping a whole bunch of these super missiles. I think I had one of my plus ones as being an energy tank during that just so I would have one extra hit of survival because it's that type of challenge where you you take one hit and it's game over it's just really frustrating one of those really frustrating challenges where I might just slap a team logo onto stream. But oh hey, here's another point of cutting. I'm gonna cut when I'm back in criteria. to demonstrate criteria stuff. At this point, I can afford to skip one super missile just for the sake of demonstrating this run and completing this run. Because I really don't want it. I'm really not looking forward to all the frustrations that are... Wait, let me remember. This exit. Right, yeah. Yeah. I got all the items to explore. I chose audio. I just. Yeah. I just. Thing. That's what I'm looking for. I just. It's in a weird state. As such, there's gonna be some oddities. Mostly because right now, in Chose audio, it expects you to be Zero Suit Samus. We're gonna ignore all that. And said, uh, these rooms right here just always have one state. Which is, as you can see right here. With both super missiles. These just make the boss a lot safer. I still could die very easily. I just gotta make sure I land all my shots. I may or may not. I may or may not do a few safeties. Let me think. Eight. Um, I think. I'm trying to remember. Oh, right. Gotta do this thing. Because this is the only way we got we get out of here. If you recall, there's usually a uh, thing above that we can power bomb to destroy. We don't have any power bombs. And none the, I don't think any of these enemies can drop them. And even if we did, I, I think in this game state, 
that tunnel right there couldn't be destroyed. But as you can see, music's a little bit different from if we were um, um, thing. What's the form? And there's a few enemies missing. So it's basically in the state of assuming that we're Zero Suit Samus. And also, yeah, there, there was a huge big maze down there that's just frustrating. And I just try to do wall jumps a sequence, break it. I've never done this area 100% legitimate. At least in one go. I have just seen how some of the intended paths are. That's an example of room that's if you're playing easy mode, it's a lot. Yeah, let me destroy this enemy. That's easier. That's a lot easier in easy mode. I'm just going to use missiles because I don't want to waste a super. And this enemy is, of course, just going to gonna get in my way. And, uh, what do you think? Three. Um... Come on. Get over here, so me get over the gap. Okay, come on. Okay. Let me do it that way. Mm -hmm. First <clears throat> I do have enough super super myself, but at this point, it just becomes, there's a diminishing return. Oh, right. I powerbomb that. Have that secret gap right up, right under there. Reveal itself. And then I can just not fall down there. Got to remember where all those are. And just get through all these rooms. And hopefully I can demonstrate something. Because I would love to do that. I'm just glad we don't start out... One thing about this seed I'm glad about is not starting out with 49 health. Yeah! Those, those deal 50 damage. Those deal... Those pirates deal a full tank. I don't want to deal with that. I don't have to. And it gets and it gets worse. So like I said, I may have steamrolled the first few areas, but yeah, this pretty much plays out how the game normally would intend this to play out. So I just want to set up a few things before I end the episode off. Including a safety save and refill. I need the refill for one power bomb. But, um, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna, at one point, come right back to that safe station, but I'm gonna cut that out. Because I'm gonna make this episode a little bit more bearable. Because there's, there's two things I just wanna demonstrate. It might be an unnecessary cut, but yeah. There's a power bomb spot right here. I wanna get that open up right away. Because I won't. Because that won't be a luxury I will I can utilize during the escape unless I do that right now which I did and it turns out I didn't need to do any cutting because I had enough to say but there is this also I did safety save right I'm gonna double check Yeah, okay, safety save made. Because we're going to go against a really tough boss. Next time. And it will be the finale. As soon as I get a room transition, that is. Anyway, see you then.